Lord Lieutenant, Mayor, Leader, Chief Executive, High Sheriff in nomination, distinguished guests, parade, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Rotherham Minster for our service of remembrance. Welcome to Bishop Stephen. We are delighted that you are with us today. Welcome to the patients and staff of Rotherham General Hospital who are listening to our service via Radio Nightingale. But today, as always on this special day, a very special welcome to all for whom today holds treasured and precious memories. Please be assured of our love and prayers for you all. first reading is from John's Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide by in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you will love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Today is the one day in the year when we call to mind together as a nation those who have given their lives in war, those who've borne terrible costs through injury or bereavement or through some other great sacrifice. It is one day, but that one day is a symbol for all of the quiet, private, acts of remembering which happen in homes and hearts every day of every year. We owe a great debt to the men and women of our armed services. That debt is both past and present. I appeal to you to begin a renewal and rebuilding of your family and your community and your nation by turning again in a deep and personal way to the ancient and ever new Christian faith. To Jesus Christ, the one who laid down his life for his friends, to the only one in history who has overcome death and who offers to all eternal life. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, be thou our guard while troubles past and our eternal home. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray for those who lead the nations, that they may be have the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray and help us to use all suffering in the cause of your kingdom through him who gives
gave himself for us on the cross. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of all people. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. of us and say for your tomorrow we gave our today the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen.